sweating loading up right now. <laughs> Brought the 110 this time because I can actually ride around while he's uh can chase him around and make him go faster, you know? So we're road tripping. Starting off in Florida, we're going to Illinois. It's like DuCoin, I think it's called. Indian Hills MX, and this guy wants a burger. We want one of these. Okay. But yeah, we're road tripping. We're gonna go pick up Jagger from school a little early. And um, practices tomorrow. It's about a 12 hour drive. Here, play with that thing. Race Saturday, so just Saturday, which is nice. We can leave Saturday afternoon, get home Sunday. We uh, got some good riding in this week, I think. But area qualifier to get him qualified for another regional that uh, is at the end of June, so. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Come along. <laughs> that good? Pulling out of the driveway, 13 hours? I think we can cut it down to like 12. This thing tops out at like 88. But uh, yeah, road trip, this brings me back to amateur days. We were traveling across the country, obviously, like doing all the amateur nationals and uh, qualifying for Loretta's, but yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a long shot for Jagger to qualify, but Paige is pretty uh, set on trying at least, you know, so if it doesn't happen this year, we'll try. I think he'll be way more ready next year, And um, but you never know. He could, could rip a whole shot in the regional and walk away with a, a qualifying position, so we'll see. But uh, step one is area. And uh, he should he should be pretty good here. I think he'll depends what kind of competition shows up, but yeah, I mean we've been working, we've been putting in the work that I've been hurt. I've been taking him a lot of a lot of laps for him. So let's see how it goes. <laughs> We're back. Let's go race some dirt bikes. Give us a run now. Where are we going? We're going to Loretta's Regional, whatever it's called. Area. Area, area coal fire. And I'm a race. Road trip starts now. Can we make a bed? After we eat. It's a good start. It's gonna be a long drive for him, it seems like. He's got a nice bed. He's gonna be set up. Struggle bus is for dad. <laughs> driving now. What did I make it? I made it a uh, two hours and 20 minutes, one full tank, and now it's break time for me. People don't know, but this Sprinter is gas. It's not diesel. When I bought it, I did not know that. They told me that after I bought it, and I'm like, what? They make Sprinters not diesel? So that's good for Paige, though, because she would forget and put regular gas into a diesel, and then we would be paying a lot of money to get it fixed. But gas diesel is nice. Wait, no. Gas Sprinter is nice without diesel. The Buckies! The world's biggest gas station in the world. The world's biggest gas station in the world? Mm -hmm. This place is wild, huh? It's perfect for Hunter Lawrence. It's a Hunter's point. You just put that in their house, and then when you get close to his house, it's a stop point. This place is pretty, pretty sick. It's literally, I did like a full loop already and it's uh, I'm still like overwhelmed. I don't know if I want food, candy, clothes, snacks. No, he already knows, that's a no. Practice. Where are we? Chatsworth? Clarksville. Clarksville. Clarksville? Clarksville? Yeah. Clarksville? Got two hours to drive in the morning to get to Illinois, so day one of driving is done. See you in the morning. Good morning. It's way too early. We are, I still don't know the city we're in. 
But we got a two and a half hour drive to the track. Practice starts at 10. Hop in, let's go. I've been to, rode in Illinois quite a bit, some tracks like uh, Lincoln Trail, some other ones, but never Indian Hills MX, so it looked hard pack on the videos that I was, I was looking at, but um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Oh, and Paige is going to be on Good Morning America this morning for her viral video on TikTok, so if anybody missed it. 31-year-old Paige Craig was flying from Florida to California and posted... Pages on national news, yeah, for a TikTok video. It's pretty wild. Welcome to Illinois. We are in the state where we're racing. An hour and 18 left till we get to the track. We start like, I think we'll get there right before practice starts, so. Let's see how it goes. I see people riding back there. Huh? Look way back there, you can see people jumping. Oh, yeah. Ducoin, Illinois. Oh, Ducon? Ducoin? I don't know how to spell it. I don't know how to say it. We're here. It's out of fairgrounds, which is pretty cool, or outside of a fairgrounds. What are we? We're 14 minutes late. That's all right. Hi, Hello. Hey, thank you. Have a great day, guys. All right, it was perfect timing. We showed up, signed up, and he's next practice, so good time. <laughs> He just looked like he was riding a little scared, but that's normal for his first day here. I think uh, once the track dries out a little bit more, he'll be faster, but he just gotta like attack more. Attack right away, not ride so scared. And uh, he'll be good. There's some fast kids, but I think he's uh, he's close. So if you see a kid pass you and he goes outside, just follow him and see what it's like. That's why today is for practice. You gotta ride like me at uh, Seattle, you know? Loose up front crashing because I'm sending it, you know? I tell him every time, like, you're bigger than the bike now. Like, you're outgrown it almost. Like, he's tall enough to put that bike wherever he wants. I get if he's going to ride scared on the 65 because obviously it's big for him, but the 50, he should be attacking and be, like, leaning and putting that thing wherever he wants. And so I got to remind him of that because early on he rides a little scared and a little timid and almost like the bike rides him, but when he's almost bigger than the bike now or too tall for it, he could he could be more aggressive. So I try to put that in his head and he shows it here and there. So just gotta put that out and get it out in the race. So that'll fit, that throttle and cable will work on a stock 65. It'll also fit that if you put standard bars on it. So. Thank you. Okay. I don't know if dad knows how to install that though. You can find somebody that will. A 50. Okay. So you wanna so wait? So we just need standard bars. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. So, there we go. Heck yeah, thank you. That's the color I should like see. You think you'll go faster with it? Yes. Better. Sweet. Thanks, T-Rex. Oh, it looks fun. It looks like I want to I wanna ride here. Like it has big jumps. Uh, the ruts look super sweet. So it's uh 
calling for rain tonight, but hopefully that kind of goes away and it's similar today and uh, he'll be ready to go. But yeah, track's drying out. He should be a little bit better this time. Carry a speed. We talked, obviously. We've got a game plan. Moto Dad's in full effect. Moto Mom's not that big of a effect. <laughs> <laughs> those jumps I told you to do? Yeah. Just try them. And if you're not going to jump, just jump a little bit to the flat. Yeah. He made it through without crashing, but he's also going very, very slow. But the track is very rutted. He's never rode the 65 like in conditions like this, so he did good. I think he said he only kept it in second gear the whole time. I'd like him to shift shift around more just to know the gears and figure that out, and also use the clutch in the corners to help it. But um, yeah, I mean, I don't think we're gonna race it tomorrow. I think we'll just just do practice today on it. And, Obviously, that's the goal later on in next year is to be 65 only, but Yep, as Brian Dinga would say you trust the process Learning We're learning every day. We got another set of practices and then uh, race tomorrow first time I was on the track It's just like really muddy and the smell because I mix cow poop with the dirt Tomorrow might be a little muddy, so you gotta be ready for it. Yeah, we're gonna have you to put a top right paddle away. tire on. No, you gotta send it right away. He looked good at the end. He started clicking them off. He's still got a jump. He's got. And I finish. passed the kid. He's got a jump. He's got a this step up, little double. He's got to make. Other than that, we're good. It's supposed to be three rounds of practices until he got into his. He got a second one in, and then they, I know, they I, made an announcement. It's supposed to rain tonight a little bit. I know why. Because they're probably gonna either. It's probably gonna be so muddy. Or it's, or it's gonna, they just get, they're gonna cover the track. No, they don't cover it. No? They do like a, a seal, they call it, where they make it really, they don't groom it, they pack it in tight, and then if it does rain, it just falls off instead of soaks in there, so. Huh. 
that's, is there, is I that think that's what, that, what they're gonna do. They're gonna seal it tonight, and then if it does rain, it shouldn't be too bad tomorrow. But Dad, is that what that cow poop stuff does? Holds the water, yeah. Good day. We made it, we're here. It was packed, a lot of people. But I might go get some fishing rods because there's some ponds around this track. So. And try to catch some bass tomorrow. So Logan, the guy behind the camera, is taking Jagger to get some fishing poles, some cheap ones. And because uh, there's some ponds, like I said, at the track, so we can do that tomorrow while we're, while we're sitting around. And I gotta go on a run. I should have done it this morning, but I was too lazy. Doing it now. Still gotta train even though we just bust out this long drive. Um, so get in the run while you guys get the fishing poles. And then we'll head, head to dinner. Should you be doing that for your race tomorrow? Mm -hmm. No. Are you doing that? This way, I see him. You do? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, this one's sick. The old fashioned Barbie girl. I got the Perfect size fishing rod. I love the colors. Then I got um, the yum baits. Now we gotta find hooks. Where are the heck are the hooks? Oh, there the hooks. All right, so we got some fishing rods for tomorrow. So then after my motos, we can while we're sitting, we can fish. So we got these, and we got. We got some yummies and dares. And then we got two, what are they? Spinner baits. Spinner baits. And that's it. So yeah. Can I catch some bass or what? Yeah. I'm a righty though, we gotta switch that handle. All right, dinner time. The run sucked by the way. I ran straight up a hill and then um, yeah, it went by slow, so we got it done though. Travel day is done, practice day is done, it went good. Um, got to run in, got some fishing poles for race day whenever there's downtime. And then uh, we're gonna go eat at this local spot that the front desk lady told me about. So hopefully it's good. Dinner time and uh, check next video for, for race day. I did like a full loop already and it's, uh, I don't know if I want food, candy, clothes, snacks. No, he already knows, that's a no. <laughs>